Hey everybody, um, happy Wednesday night once again. Uh, today is Wednesday, May the 13th, May the 13th. We're in week nine of this uh, quarantine situation and today, tonight I should say, I'm coming to you from my backyard. So uh, if you can see behind me, basketball goal. And coming up after this, this short message, um, I've got some some sports for you some sports for you that took place right here on my sport court in the backyard so i hope you enjoy that but before i show you that footage i want to uh give you a short message a short devotion that goes along with that sport, sports footage so similar to a sports center uh, situation um so i've, I've done uh, a couple of wednesday nights i've done a few um, a few different things um, last week uh, if you watch the video you saw where I started with the beard and I evolved into myself that most of you are familiar with or used to I should say and um, and I ended up going through the transformation of having a mustache and I ended up clean shaven so as you can see I'm kind of back to my stubble that I prefer pretty much because I don't enjoy shaving all that much. So, but I'm going to stay on the, the topic of um, being confident in who you are and being um, and loving yourself, what it boils down to. Um, we can find throughout uh, God's Word about being made in God's image. And who are we to argue with who we are and who God has created us to be? And so kind of like last week, I talked about, you know, um, blessings in disguise, but for us not disguise ourselves at the same time. So tonight, I want to talk to you a little bit, just a little bit about um, being yourself and not trying to be someone else. No, no, right now, we're not in the school and I'm not really at work. So I'm not, I'm not around all of those influences I typically am around where I'm trying to perhaps impress someone or being someone I'm not. Um, we're around our family and our families know us better than anyone else uh, But that doesn't mean we can't still uh, Prepare ourselves to go back to those places and be around people that um, we were around to begin with and at the same time You know, we know ourselves better than anybody else and then God's a, God knows us even better than that. So um, I'm just gonna share two verses of Scripture tonight uh, after I share with you um, Ephesians. Ephesians 2.10 says that we are God's work of art. So again, if God is the creator, the ultimate creator, and created us, um, us to be who we are, where can we find fault in that? And oftentimes we are really good at finding our flaws. So I want you to be happy with who you are and be confident in who you are as well, uh, the way that God has created you. And so the first scripture verse I'm going to share with you tonight is... Uh, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, 10 uh, says this, But by the grace of God, I am what I am. Now, it kind of sounds like a Dr. Seuss book, right? I am what I am. And uh, that's what it says in Scripture. By the grace of God, I am what I am. You know, I know that we make decisions. We do things sometimes. And uh, I go to the store and pick out, I chose to wear this shirt tonight. I decided to not get a haircut a long time ago, which I should have. And that does create a reflection of who I am. And our goal is to be a reflection of Christ. But at the same time, Scripture says, by the grace of God, I am what I am. But also, I'd like to add that we are who we are by the grace of God. Um, and now the next uh, verse of Scripture I want to read is Romans 12, 2. Now, this is a familiar verse um, that you may be familiar with. And I'm going to read you two versions, two translations of it. The first one I'm going to read is NIV. And this is what it says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now listen to this other translation. It's the W-E-S-T translation. And this is what this says. It puts it in a completely different terminology, but with some, somewhat the same meaning. It says, and stop assuming an outward expression that does not come from within you and is not representative of what you are in your inner being, 
but is patterned after this age. But change your outward expression to one that comes from within and is representative of your inner being. By the renewing of your mind, resulting in your putting to the test what is the will of God, the good and well-pleasing and complete will of God. And having found that, it meets specifications. Place your approval upon it. Place your approval upon it. So, that's a little bit, obviously, a little bit different translation and a lot longer. But it, it, it puts a spin on the fact that us not being transformed or conformed to this world and to stop assuming an outward expression that does not come from within you. So if we say that God has created this and we are what we are and who we are because, and that's by the grace of God, then we should stop assuming an outward expression that does not come from within, which God has created. You know, sometimes we put on a show, put on a happy face, whatever the case may be, and that's not truly who we are or truly representative who God created us to be. Okay, so God made us to be unique. So I'm encouraging to be all that God created you to be. Don't let anything hold you back. Okay, that doesn't mean you can't improve and you can't grow because you can't say, oh, well, I'm just the way I am and I'm not going to get any better. No, 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 not at all. Growth is part of God's plan too. And we can certainly learn from others. I'm looking forward to getting back into church and learning from each other. Okay. That's my encouraging word for today, to be who you are because it is by the grace of God that you are who you are. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? Especially if it's not a loving person in your life, okay? You are who God created you to be. Let me encourage you by that. Now, when I sign off here, you're gonna see two people played by me and those two people on the basketball court the first the first few minutes is me trying to be someone that I'm not now I'm not the best basketball player anyway but it's me trying to be the greatest basketball player ever which is up for some debate Michael Jordan I don't know if any of you've been watching uh, the series on ESPN about Michael Jordan about you know, the greatest of all time. But it's me wearing a Michael Jordan jersey, trying to be someone I'm not. And then followed by that is me in my personal Timberwolves jersey, even has my last name. Actually, it's Isaiah Ryder's last name, but I got the jersey because it said, said Ryder on it. And it's me being me. Now, with the help of iMovie and some editing, I play a whole lot better as me than I do as Michael Jordan. But it's to remind us that me being who I am, me being who God created me to be, is always going to be my best. I'm always going to be my best by being who God created me to be. And that's what I want to encourage you guys to do tonight and from this point forward if you're not already practicing that. So put your faith first, live it out loud and do all things that are pleasing to God, okay? Love y'all, praying for y'all. Hopefully you will enjoy the footage that is coming up after this. So I'll talk to y'all later. See you real soon.